What's going on everyone? My name is Matt and we're back here with another sporting blog video. Today we're talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is part of our sporting blog NFL franchise series. So the Bucs, they came into the league in 1976 as the 27th team in the National Football League. And when they came in, they were absolutely atrocious. I mean 0-26 atrocious. That's right. They had 26 straight losses, which is still the longest losing streak in the NFL. When they finally won deep into their second season against the New Orleans Saints, they had a Super Bowl-like parade. That's how big this was in Tampa. And speaking of the Super Bowl, they've been to one and they've won one. That was back in 2003 in Super Bowl 37. They played the Oakland Raiders and absolutely ran through them. That was a team that had some of the greatest Bucks players in franchise history. We're talking about Derek Brooks, Warren Sapp, Rondé Barber, John Lynch, Mike Allstott, Warwick Dunn, and the list goes on and on. And that team was coached by John Gruden, who was traded from the Raiders just a season earlier. Now, one player that team didn't have was the greatest Buck of all time, Leroy Selman. Selman was drafted with the first pick the Bucks ever had way back in 1976 and was the first player ever inducted into the Pro Hall of Football fame for the Buccaneers. Now, they've had a lot of ups and downs over the years, that up being the Super Bowl, but in the 21st century, they've largely underperformed, and so now they're looking to turn a new leaf.